Ha, <laughs> built from hand. Look at that. It's beautiful. My custom server, my latest one. The uh, the little mighty mouse, uh, Skiff. And running Genty Linux. It's been online for a day. It now has 1110 packages installed. And thanks to the guys that contributed to uh, the replies. And uh, Hank Fallman Dusk, specifically. Cheers, dude. That was great. And uh, got, it, got it working. Actually, the first try after trying again. And um, the issue that I had was I used um, SF disk to clone the partition tables between disks, which also cloned the partition UIDs. And they were not dissimilar. And upon correcting that, um, Draycut didn't uh, throw any errors and just ran with the command that you provided. And uh, I named um, the files for the kernel and uh, the initram fs. By version yeah and there we go so Z pool root gen 2 on root is ZFS and has uh, a rel -E time enabled so that relativity time updates will be available for anything that needs them and X adders because that's required for portage. Uh, sometimes the permissions are set that way. And POSIX ACLs to just support that feature. And uh, there's a lot more in here, but this was the, the piece de resistance and the crowning jewel of uh, things that were on the to-do list for the last year was to boot from ZFS and uh, not do it with one disc. I had to, had to have it my way. <laughs> oh, excuse me. <coughs> and it works. So, um, the first partition on every disk is uh, just the same. Uh, configuration, same size, right? But they weren't cloned, and it still works, which is a positive thing, right? And uh, the swap is actually um, a ZFS volume created, a ZDO. I mean, it runs on top of these four SSDs. Um, I ran a scrub earlier and it was running at 2.3 gigabytes a second. It's crazy, but and finished in promptly in like two seconds, the, uh, the whole disk scrub, because it probably only is 10 gigabytes. Doesn't take quite as long to get through doing a ZFS scrub on poor SSDs, uh, as opposed to say uh, a 50 terabyte ZFS um, SAS, SAS gig, you know, SAS RAID volume. So, but uh, the block ID thing was something that I didn't fully consider when I was doing my setup at first. Right, so we all have the same label names and the type is set or detected, which is good, it's cool. Root FS. All the part UUIDs are different. So we have ADC, ADBC, and D or the, the ZFS member disks. Yeah. That is that is awesome. I'm a such a nerd. <laughs> Cheers.